Our friends over at ESP sent me this today. It is a box of bamboo, toilet paper and centre feet. So on first impression, straight out of the box, I have to say I'm really impressed. They feel really nice, but it really is more than just how they feel and how they look. They look a little bit brown to be honest, they are like a light brown colour with an embossed pattern on. That's all good, but what I'm interested in is the performance. The flushability, if that's a word, if it isn't I've just created one, trademark it, um, of the toilet roll itself. A little bit of a backstory: the previous uh, bamboo products we've had on the market, but unfortunately it blocked up some toilets and we've always kept our eyes and ears out for a quality bamboo product. Uh, because we really believe in the sustainability story behind it. Dave and I have done a few tests and um, yeah, let's check those out. This is our flushing simulator and what we've done, we've created a little kind of scenario where we'll put three sheets of a pure product in and three sheets of the bamboo product, give it a 10 second flush with half full of water, 10 second shake should I say, and just see how the product breaks down because we want to simulate that to ensure that the product is not staying bound together with any glue or any just strength that it shouldn't have during the flushing process. As you can see, both products really are working quite well. They're breaking down very quickly, well within the 10 second flush that we're trying to simulate. So here comes the science bit. And as you'll see, I've even got a piece of paper in my hand because I haven't got a clue about this. I'm learning as I'm talking about it, to be honest. And it's a fascinating subject. Apparently, it absorbs a higher level of carbon than traditional sources of pulp. Bamboo produces 35% more oxygen through photosynthesis than trees. According to the National Geographic toilet roll, takes 27,000 trees per day to produce. Trees, of course, take a long time to grow and they take a lot of water over the course of the many decades in which they grow. In contrast, bamboo doesn't need much water to grow and it has a lifespan of about three to five years and they can grow up to 30 centimetres per day. As some of us may know from bamboo being in our gardens, it's naturally persistent. It really wants to grow. It's got a life of its own and just shoots up which is great for the reproduction of bamboo. It's not ever cut at the root, it's, it's actually cut above the ground, so the root is never disturbed. And so it just regrows and doesn't need to be replanted like a tree would be after it's been cut down to be produced into pulp. Now bamboo contains this product called Zucan, and I've never heard of that before, but it seems to be the absolute unique selling point of bamboo. Apparently, this Zucan is antibacterial, antifungal, odour resistant and hypoallergenic. So from where I'm sitting it seems like bamboo is becoming a viable option. We need an alternative to the existing pulp. Deforestation is an issue but companies like Metza really do have it under control and have a very good programme to ensure sustainability. Recycled paper the jury's out, it takes a huge amount of carbon to actually process the recycling manufacturing systems which create a recycled toilet roll. So the jury's out as to how green a recycled product actually is. For me, one of the key opportunities for businesses and schools with this product is it's a statement, because it's not white, it's like a light brown colour, I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the lights, and I think that's an opportunity to make a statement, even if you had some sort of explanation within every washroom. You know, we are using a bamboo product, hence why it's slightly brown in colour, but don't worry, it's all good. It's, it's not dirty, it's just made of bamboo. So hopefully that story can really be a statement for your organisation or your client or your school. So there we have it. We're really happy with the performance and I would be more than confident when suggesting this to our client base as a really good alternative to pure paper, ESP and the bamboo product can definitely provide something different. Now obviously it does come at a cost, it's a, it's a premium product, it's a sustainable source which always comes with a price attached to it which is going to be above and beyond the market rate of the more standard product. So I would just brace yourself for about a 50% increase, this product is definitely hitting all the right notes. So if you'd like to see it in action, please just ping us a note, a comment or an email, whatever, and we'll get you some samples out and you can try it for yourself. 